Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I've got Antonio with us, our boatless angler. I've got Phil with us today and folks, we are going to be jigging the Niagara River. We're going to run the Sting Nose. I'm going to run the Peanut Bunker, the Sting Nose Peanut Bunker. Antonio's going to open up with the Sting Nose Smelt and Phil's going to open up with the Peanut Bunker as well. And Here's the thing folks, it's a uh, very strong current here and we're going to start off in deep water and then go shallower, but because we're so deep and because the current's so strong, you want to fish as vertical as possible. It's kind of like fishing the Detroit River. You need to be straight up and down and you need to be in control of your jigging spoon at all times. So we're going to use the three ounce, Antonio's using the two and three quarter ounce, so it's a big heavy and you can see I've used this one a few times before. <laughs> it's my uh, it's my uh, my lucky jigging spoon. So we're gonna just pop in here and start in about 70 feet of water and work our way all the way up to 20 feet and see where we can get some hits. We'll get them on the flat or maybe we'll get them on the break. We'll see where these fish are holding. So we're gonna scout a little bit. There's a few boats out here this morning. It's a beautiful day. So stay tuned, folks. So glad you could join us. <laughs> what a solid nice. hit. He just hammered that sting nose, and I mean hammered it. Wow. It's fighting kind of like a lake trout. Whatever it is, he's got some weight to him, folks. And what they do when you're working the, any jigging spoon, for that matter, the fish will hit it on the drop. So when you lift it up, you let it flutter down, wait a second, and the, hish, the fish will hit it on the drop or on the pause. A lot of times they'll hit it on the pause. This one hit it right on the fall. He just whack. And then because I'm running braided line, I do have a fluorocarbon leader. I'm able to feel everything and give a good hook set. And the other thing I like to mention, I mentioned I'm using a three ounce sting nose. You need a medium heavy rod when you're using heavier tackle. A little, uh, a light rod, ultra light, wouldn't cut it. A medium a medium power rod might do it, but medium heavy is definitely the better way to go. Okay, who's got the I'll net? Antonio, you got the net up front? <clears throat> I'm gonna say it's a, a lake trout. I'm gonna say it's a lake trout, folks. It's my guess. He's fighting kind of like a lake trout. And and I could, the one? Uh, let me see, I can't really see him there. The glare oh, of the sun. The one? <laughs> Looks like a pretty big lake trout. <laughs> That's a big lake trout. No wonder it was a solid hit. Wow. That's a nice one. What do you think, Phil? Beautiful. Yes. He's just hooked in the side of the mouth there. Look at that, oh, right yeah. in the side of the mouth. Perfect That's hook a, set. That's a decent size. Oh, yeah. That's a good lake. <laughs> oh man. Not really fighting that much though. Oh, he's size. staying down there. He's staying down there. He's staying down there. Pretty moist in the net. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, come on up. That's a beauty. Oh, wow. Yep. There he is in the bag. Nice. Wow. wow. That's a good size, you <laughs> That's a big lake trout Good right size. there, folks. Wowzer. Okay, now comes the fun of getting them out of the net. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful lake trout. That's a heavy fish. That's a, that's a heavy lake trout, folks. Holy big heavy fish. My goodness. Oh. Did he ever give me a good bite? Look, he wants to go. Look at that fish. Isn't that nice? Okay, I'm going to let you go, buddy. And away he goes. Wow. Well, my peanut bunker did the job right there, folks. You know, you take a lure out of your tackle box, one of your favorites, get it down there, and have some fun. Okay, we are now in 50 feet of water. We're going to keep jigging here, folks. There we Motor go. struck again. Wow. It's got a lot of weight to it. <laughs> Probably another laker, eh? It's fighting like a laker. Yeah? Yeah. Take your time with them. Take your time with them. Oh, I will. 
You got the same thing, right? Three ounce peanut bunker? Three ounce silver peanut bunker. Yeah, yeah. same one, same one. It's a nice wide bait, gives them a lot of meat. <laughs> it's a good bait for leakers. Big target, eh? Yeah. Now, speaking of that, a lot of times you've seen us run the sting nose, folks. You've seen us tip them with worms or minnows or with our new uh, thunder mist eye drops but today we're just running them bare and that's the thing with the sting nose you don't necessarily need to tip them but if you need a little extra enticement it's always good to tip but today we're just running them just plain old bear folks man this is heavy <laughs> <laughs> could be another big <clears throat> laker it's fighting like a laker yeah yeah he's staying down there right yeah, yeah. So. not very acrobatic I've always got some head shakes going on now. Oh yeah, if you had a salmon, you'd know it. Oh right? yeah. Very <laughs> strong, man. Oh yeah. Oh, I loosened up on my drag too. Hey, yeah. Good one. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Solid, eh? Just solid. It is. Oh. Don't want to horse them in. No, no, you don't want to do that. No. Antonio, you have the net back there. Might need you to hand me the net. What a gorgeous wow. day, too, eh? Okay, see the knot to my fluorocarbon leader. Yeah. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that lake trout. Thanks, Antonio. That's a big laker. Going into the boat? Yep. You got your drag set? Yep, somebody got the net. I got the net right here. Beautiful laker. He's in the bay. Actually, he's not as big as I thought. No, he's not as big, no. No. Strong fish. Big, I mean, not as big, but <laughs> that's a good fish. It's a decent one. Okay. Spoiled here, I think. You got the needle nose there. Yeah. Or the needle nose, you got the pliers. Yeah. Wow. Off and we'll get them right back in the water again. If you want a quick photo, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. That's a beauty, Phil. Yeah, not bad. Look how nice and thick. They're thick and wide, eh? Strong. Powerful. Okay, let's get that fish maybe we're riding a bit. Oh, okay. There he goes. There he goes, and he swims away just like that. Just a little on top of the water, and just like a shark, and he's going down. There he goes. Okay, that was a nice right release, on. Phil. Yeah. So he came out of 45 feet of water. And he nailed that, eh? He did, yeah. Just one, one big solid hit. You gotta love it. <laughs> you know what, folks? Just jigging in general, it's so much fun. And when they hit, it's a riot. As soon as you feel the hit, just set the hook. I think we go out for another drift, Antonio? Yeah. Okay, we are on the board. You're next, right? Okay. All right. Folks, give jigging a try. I want to thank you for joining us in today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Let's go back up for another drift. <laughs>